years old, and we're back. Yes, 700 years old. Wow. And every day, at the end of every day, he would say to God, you know, is this the day that I get to come with you? You know, they would, get, they would be parting ways. He would have to make the long struggle with his 700-year-old body back to his house after he walked through his everywhere. garden with, with, with God. He shot the show with him. And God would say, no, no, not today. He did that for like, I don't know, 600 years, whatever the fuck. Like, God felt like doing that for him. However, the, however long that guy lived. Until one day, you know, I think that he was charioted off to heaven in a, in a chariot drawn by angels and pegasuses or something. You know, it was, it was a big, lavish, lavish, nice death. But God made him live like 700 years and do that every day to him. Hey, do I get to die today? He was basically, you'd ask him every day, hey, do I get to enjoy heaven now? And God would be like, no, not today. For like 600 years, like, yeah, you'd walk with God, you know, with his old ass body. It's, it's hard for me to get to the end of my orchard or whatever he was, it's you hard know. hard for him to get an erection. What the fuck are you talking about? Just the orchard. It was hard, no, it was hard for him to live. But he lived on this orchard or he had this garden. And he would, every night, he would walk with God through his garden or his orchard. I don't, I'm, I'm fucking up a lot of the story. There's going to be, <laughs> I can't even remember <laughs> <laughs> but I thought that was Methuselah. Like, he lived to be 700 years old or some shit. Drill. Drill. Uh, Where's drill go? Ah! <coughs> My kingdom for a fucking drill. Found it! But I remember hearing that story in Bible school and just thinking, like, man, God's a dick. You know, there's a lot of stories, like the whole story of Abraham and his kid and shit. Oh, yeah. Yeah, don't get me fucking started on that shit. Oh, yeah. It was like, God was like, hey, Abraham, cut off the tip of your dick. And he was like, really? All right. And then he All was right. like, kill your son. And How like, drunk really? are you? <laughs> yeah, I'm fucking good either, dude. Some of the stories we were told as kids are just fucking stupid. Old Testament God was was gnarly. He was he was pretty pretty crazy. Um, but you know they you could buy that shit when you were a kid. But when you're an adult, you're like, wait a minute, that guy was in a whale for how long? <laughs> Mm, I don't know about that. Pinocchio was in there for fucking se for, for for seven minutes and he barely survived. Yeah, it looked pretty rough in there. Um, but oh, everybody, oh, with God, all that shit's possible. Whenever I would say anything, that's, oh, that's the whole, with God, everything is possible. And I kind of, you know, as I grew up, I kind of started to be like, well, wait a minute, aren't these just, I think they're supposed to just kind of be stories that we're supposed to live our life by. And then you start researching a little bit more, and you know the the version of the Bible that I grew up with was the what the King James, the you know, and, and I King I've James heard, Five, yeah. I've heard there was some he took some weird liberties with it, you know. There's some. Uh, I remember talking to okay. my minister one time, and it was something to the effect of uh, capital punishment. <laughs> um, you know, because the Bible says, hold up, the Bible says, thou shalt not kill, right? <laughs> okay, I want to hear this, I want to hear this. All right, I don't know, whatever the fuck you're going to say. But then I remember him saying something to the effect of, like, man, you know, the original Ten Commandments, it's like, oh, you can't throw a bushel of hay over your left shoulder and shit. Like, he was like, there's, it's, it's... You know, some, the original Ten Commandments, it's kind of more like, a, like there's there's some kind of conversion to hate, to, to money, or, you know, it's it's more of a, some weird guidelines, but there's something, you know, what we consider the Ten Commandments, he said that the, the original kind of verse was something to the effect of, like, thou shalt not kill, except in times of war, or where it is deemed admissible by the law of the land, and it's like, well, that makes it completely different. You know, that makes 
That totally changes my mind on capital punishment. If I was using the argument, thou shalt not kill, the Bible just gives us the okay to do that. And if, if you're in Texas, I, there's some clause in there that says it's okay for retards, too. <laughs> They've done away with that, right? That, that, that's, that's just blown out of the course. They don't really do that, right? Easy, buddy. Easy. That's not yeah. a thing. <laughs> this is a worldwide synopsis. <laughs> don't 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 do a rant on Pakistan because we'll get fucking banned there too. Well, I'm not I'm not I'm not knocking it. I want to know like because I I wonder what how that works number wise. I wonder when they crunch those numbers in the big computer, they're like, man, our our unemployment rate's way up because we separated the wheat from the chaff. That's a little, uh, it's a little barbaric. It's a little, <coughs> oh, excuse me. You were saying. That's a little black and white. That's not, uh, it's, you know, things aren't that extreme. We're not living in, you know, crazy Roman times where, where shit like that would go down. Keep on talking. But then again, I, th I feel like we are. I feel like I feel like time just kind of stays the same. I think that people are just people. I think across the the grand spectrum of things, I think we're all just you know sacks of fucked up shit, and we've been sacks of fucked up shit since the beginning of you know we could we could acknowledge that that was what separated man from the animal was you know the day that man stood up and realized, wait a minute, I'm a sack of shit. And from then on, it's been like, oh, we just, you know, everything is just, we're little kids, we just take everything and we want to play with our toys, no matter what it does to the environment or, or whatever the fuck. And I'm not even an environmentalist or, or anything like that, you know. Global warming, yeah, sure, it does seem like it's going on or some shit's going on. The glaciers are falling apart and all that stuff, but, you know, this world is, is a living thing, and, and it's, it's not like, you know, there's all kinds of shit going on, we don't know what the fuck it is. Everybody, fuck you. Everybody's worried about GMOs and, and that kind of stuff, and I'm just like, man, I, I read the read the articles and it seems like you know you, you get more crops with less water and out of a, a smaller space and less time yeah but the hormones affect our kids and the fucking antibiotics are just are are, are bad for us and it's just, I'm it's, like man I don't know but I drove by a high school the other day when it was letting out, and I don't know what they're putting in those kids' milk, but man, those girls were looking... I don't remember high school girls looking like that when I was in high school. And now comes the obligatory, and all now right, I'm all right, like, all right. You know, they're putting that, what is it, the, the, the HGH in the milk and shit? All right, all right, Matthew McConaughey from Days Confused. Yeah, oh, it's just creepy. I don't like feeling that. I didn't pull over and get out and lean up against my my shitty '90s Mercedes and smoke a cigarette and eh, 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 unbutton my shirt and feel my chest as the. It'd be a lot cooler if you did. <laughs> Sixteen-year-old. <laughs> Go ahead and say it. Go ahead and say. It. Jail bait. <laughs> that's all I ever. Th that's all I ever think when I see that. It's like, oh man, you know, look at that jail bait. Like it's just how hard is my cock when I see a nice. <laughs> but I mean, she's got to look like she's eighteen. But then you find out she's sixteen, and you're like, son of a bitch. Like I'm never. I'm not seeking out underage girls are you though <laughs> that was a long pause for that shit dude. Well, i'm just trying to think of a good it's a way yes to or no answer that. i don't think there's any good way to answer that 
Okay, okay, okay. No, uh, I, I, let me settle I this. Prefer, let me settle well, this. Well, okay, wait, no. Oh, wait. I'm 34, so I'm looking for a girl who's like 24. Okay. I'm not looking for a girl who's like 16 okay. or 17. I want a girl who's like in her 20s. I, I do want a girl who's but, younger, but, but I want a girl looks, who's of age. But looks. But looks like she's decent, right? Decent. Well, I want a girl I'm, sa I'm, I'm saving you from some, some trouble here. Looks decent, right? <laughs> I mean, what is the acceptable age that you want somebody to look? 19? Oh. I feel like 19 is about right. 19 is about right, yeah. I don't know. I, I think sometime, sometime in your 20s, I feel like, is when you hit your stride. Or at least I did, anyway. And a lot of girls that I've known, you know, you run into a girl that you knew in high school, and it's like, holy shit, what the hell happened? She got that boob job she was always talking about, and... You know, the braces have come off, and it's like, holy hell. Well, they're fucking glued, that's why. Eh. Yeah, man, those, those kids' toys, they gotta make them all. <laughs> they're that's fucking, pretty slick, like, they're you fucking can, destructible. You can make some, uh, rig that into, like, build your scouter for, for your for your DBZ cosplay. Silver 9000! Right. <laughs> just write that on it. Just write 9000 on it and just do that everywhere. Just like, and just make it beep. Don't make it, you don't, <laughs> don't have to make it so light up or do anything. So just make it, make that beep, 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 beep noise and just yell, it's our 9000. What would it have to, just have it be 9001. Like, it's over 9000. And make it do the, the, the ding from Price is Right, like ding, 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 like when you hit the button, like it's over 9,000, ding, 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 It's so stupid. It's so dumb. Okay, so, so this is a very temperamental switch. It's either a positive side or a negative side. And at both contacts, top and bottom here, so you, you, you have, you have positive here, you have positive here. 